Good day from beautiful, historic downtown St. John's, Newfoundland, and Labrador, outside the set of Hudson and Rex. This one goes out to my man Jason down Minnesota Way. Jason, this comes from your buddies at No Time for a Podcast and myself, of course. Side note, boys, I had close uh, connections to Minnesota. My dad used to play for the Fighting Saints, and I used to go to Brainerd uh, for four years straight. I went to Brainerd in my late teens and early 20s to a hockey camp that the San Jose Sharks and company put off. And I enjoyed my time there, and I still go back once in a while. Uh, Jason, I hear you're a great guy. You're a hockey fan. You're waiting for Minnesota Wild to win the Cup. You might be waiting a while, my friend, but I've been wrong before. Good luck. Um, Guys, uh, I love the podcast, by the way, and uh, my favorite was No Time for a Concert. Uh, My favorite two concerts, the Eagles 2014, Grand Falls, Windsor, Newfoundland. The weather was perfect. The band was bliss, and uh, I had friends and family there, so it was special. And uh, in the early 2000s, I saw Paul Simon in downtown Denver, Colorado, in a uh, small little bar, a nice intimate setting. It was hard to get tickets. My buddy hooked me up, and that was... uh, Anyway, that's my two favorites. I haven't heard of Hairball. Now I have, and it's on my bucket list, so uh, maybe I'll see you there. Uh, Listen, Jason, you're a great guy, and uh, i got to be honest. Usually I give a poem or something creative in these things, and I ran out of time, and now here I am on a film set coming out at lunch to make you a video because you fucking deserve one for your birthday. So listen... What I'm going to do is give you three secrets about myself that not a lot of people know. That was hard because I talk a lot and I don't hold much back, but uh, I thought of three things that not a lot of people know, if any. Um, Very select few, put it that way. Uh, I was 10 years old in grade 5, an all-boys Catholic school, and we had to do uh, public speeches, and I hated doing them. I loved writing them, but I hated doing them. Everybody got a topic, but I wanted my own topic. So I came up with, if I was 5 centimeters tall... A couple of the first things people loved, they laughed at. It was uh, put myself in a table hockey game and uh, score all kinds of goals, be a star. It was uh, hang out with my pets and see the world from their perspective. But my third one was sneak into the women's change room, which would have been only nuns and teachers that were there because there was no girls in our school, and uh, see the world from a naked perspective. Uh, see a lot of women naked, basically, and uh, I didn't really know. I had some sexual frustrations at the time I didn't know about, obviously. We were very suppressed. Uh, even though only 10 years old, the feelings were starting, but I don't know, I didn't know what they were leading to, so I didn't really know what sex was, even though it was four or five years away at minimum. Anyway, my second, I, I'm not 6'2", 207, as my hockey card would let you believe. Uh, when we got tested in our draft year, Central Scouting came, and I put uh, pieces of foam in my socks to make myself taller, and I taped weights to my legs with baggy pants to make myself heavier. I was about six foot 185, but as you'll see, power forward, quote unquote, 6'2", 207. So that's uh, the second thing. And third, I uh, cried at uh, no, Time, no Time to Die, the new James Bond movie. And I'm not even a huge Daniel Craig fan. I kind of like him, but I watch most of the Bond movies, and who knows, maybe there's a childhood memory there suppressed that I don't really know about. Maybe it's a question for my therapist. In any case, I fucking bawled in No Time to Die, or No Time to Die, And it seemed that nobody else in the theater shared my point of view. So that was obviously a unique, embarrassing thing. There's three secrets. Jason, I hope you go and have a steak at Louis Finer Meats. You deserve that. Have a great day on your birthday, no matter what it it was. I hope this adds to it, boys. If I'm ever in your area, uh, I'll gladly go on your podcast or uh, meet you guys for a beer or something like that. Thanks a lot for thinking of me, Jason. Have a great fucking day. Tune in to Tales with TR and Shorzy if you know what's good for you. Boys, enjoy the rest of the summer. See ya. Cheers.